Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the makeup products that I take with me when I travel. This is more of a personal level type of makeup kit. I want to keep it very real. Even if I'm a makeup artist, I'm not gonna take like a full makeup kit with me. However, I have to say like, you know, for a makeup, uh, lover, I think this is enough products. I got this bag from Amazon. I hope we can still find the link for it, but um, basically this, this this is what this is what it looks like. Okay, realistically speaking, they're kind of all over the place, but not really. I've got my brushes right here, brushes here, accessories such as tweezers and also um, a sharpener. But throughout the video, uh, you will see this being filmed from another angle, so you will have a better image of everything. Now, let's get into everything I'm taking with me on vacation. Let me start with a primer that doubles as sunscreen. This is the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 30. And it's hydrating, it leaves a very beautiful, like glowy film on top of your skin and I tend to use less product if I have this on my skin. The only product that I took in terms of like coverage for my, for the entire face is this Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint. I got the shade number four with me. The reason why I like this so much is because it's probably the most lightweight and I don't know about you, but it really depends on the type of vacation that I'll have. But for a beach vacation, definitely want something that is light as air and this is exactly it the most natural looking skin tint it's a real skin tint that doesn't have a lot of oils it's not too greasy it's just it's it's just perfect melts into your skin i love this guy uh, and then i i got two concealers because this one this is the armani power fabric concealer can double as you know let's just say I need more coverage, then I will apply this in the center of the face. And because it has such a nice texture, I could spread it all over the absolute best. Uh, and then for my under eyes, I love, love Hourglass. You already know it. Very nice hydrating uh, concealer, but not too hydrating, you know, because then it will crease. So it's just perfect for me. This is it in terms of like, um, you know, coverage. And then I have two powders, this mini one from um, Charlotte Tilbury, the airbrush. This will give you the most beautiful airbrushed skin. I love it and I love that they have the small version as well. And say I needed to have a, a loose powder with me and I really like the say one because it's not matte. It's the complete opposite of this. So this is fully matte and then this is it has a little glow to it, I really like it. Bronzers, I took this because I could apply this on my eyes uh, as well as on my face and it's a glowy bronzer. So, so beautiful, it has this little applicator. The color is so good for me when I'm tanned. This is in Ray, it's more of a um, gel texture. Do you see how nice this is? And it dries, it dries and it stays on uh, for the whole day. Love this guy. And like I said, I could use it on my eyes as well. Uh, another bronzer that I took is the Valentino bronzer. I could not, not take this with me. It's the only powder bronzer that I took. Sometimes, I'll be honest with you, sometimes I would just use the power fabric in the center of the face, mam, 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 mam. And then with a big brush, which I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna to get to brushes later. With a big brush, I just do like the three motion, like bam, bam, that's it, you know? Uh, and a little mascara, maybe a gloss, and I'm done. But I like to have options. I like to have options, that's why I have a lot of products, quite a lot. Um, this little guy right here, it's so easy to use. It's from Merit in the shade Terracotta. And this can be applied on your eyes or on your cheeks. It's very, very nice color. And again, very easy to use. Um, I could spread this with my fingers. I don't even need a brush with this. I think 
I only took one one blush. How is that even possible? Yeah, I only have one blush, but it's more than enough because this rare beauty. Listen, guys, I'm probably going to make a mixture between the Glossier bronzer and this. This is way too much. I've applied way too much. You guys, a tiny little dot is all you need for the most beautiful shade of pink and i have to say this obviously will go darker depending on how much you apply and i could apply this on my lips as well that's not what i have on my lips but i could apply this on my lips so i like kind of like multifunctional products when i go um, on vacation plus this is always something that i have in the back of my mind if i go on vacation with uh, friends or family i like to have options for them as well just in case you know just in case someone needs a little extra lip product or you know something like that that's that's pretty much like the basics right i honestly wouldn't be bothered if i only had these products in my kit and then just a lip balm but no it wouldn't be me it wouldn't be me so we're gonna move on with a lot more products not me having a third powder but the reason why i have to have this powder with me i actually took it from my bag this powder is one of a kind because it has spf 50. you know how you're supposed to apply spf every two hours in order to actually have your skin protected from the sun when you have makeup on it's basically impossible but this powder and this is so nice because it comes with an applicator and there is enough powder in here to use it for the whole summer this is it like if you have this you apply it every three hours two three hours you have it for the whole summer it's fantastic fantastic if i have to reapply it i, I keep this in my bag i will use the the applicator if not i just like to use one of my brushes because you know I'm a makeup artist, I like to always make things complicated. Uh, a product that I wish I had it in a smaller version because I know it exists is this Vive Skin Dew. This is such a beautiful glow. The type of product that you could apply it, let me just show you. I'll just take a little bit on my finger, check this out. You could apply it on top of your cheeks for that extra glow. Look at this. Or you could apply it on your eyelids, or you could apply it on your shoulders. It's just unbelievable. I love this so, so much. My only regret is the size. It's, it's so big. Let's move on with eyes. I don't have a lot of products for my eyes. I took the eye tint from... Giorgio Armani because this is so easy to use. It has an applicator. I could just apply this all over my eyelid, maybe use a eyeliner or not, just mascara and that's it. I have a I have an evening glowy eye makeup. The only palette that I took with me, no wonder, is this NARS one. I love it. I, I just love it. This is perfect. It's everything I need. Everything I need. Uh, daytime colors, if I would apply makeup. Uh, during the day and then these beautiful shimmers for night perfection love this palette of course i took mascara with me you guys know i i love ysl lash clash and then this kosh fiber brow from milk i love it i have it on right now i think it's beautiful uh, and I like that it's tinted, so I don't, I didn't take a, an eyebrow pencil. And then here on top, where I keep the brushes, I've put on an eyeliner, which probably I'm never going to use, a black pencil from um, Huda Beauty that I know, I know this is not going to move. This is probably the best um, eyeliner pencil like gel liner pencil uh, it's very slim it's very long lasting it's waterproof I love 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 this product um, this is more likely for me to use than a liquid eyeliner because a, li a liquid eyeliner 
requires a little bit more time to apply it, right? So let's face it. Are we actually going to use a liquid eyeliner on vacation? Small chances. And then, no surprise, two lip liners from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Deep Taupe, which is the color that works with absolutely everything, underneath anything and everything. Uh, and then the other one that is slightly darker is Parchment. Since I was at the pencils, I thought I might as well. A, a lot of lip products. A lot of lip products. I really have a problem when it comes to lip products. I just cannot control myself in terms of how many I take with me. I need to have, I need to have options, you know? And I took with me the new G Suit from Glossier. I got the red one and the pink one, the one that I am wearing right now is this pink. Um, and then of course I needed to take the lip blush from Huda Beauty. This is the best lip stain. I've talked about this product before. Why is this so amazing? Because all the lip stains that I have ever tried, they end up being, you know, kind of weird right here in the inner part of the lip and they're kind of patchy. And then the color is just not distributed well on the lip. This is just perfection, perfection. It I think it comes in five different shades. Um, it's not the color that you see here. It's actually a lot better. Let me show you. It's like this beautiful muted mauve. <laughs> perfection, perfection. Um, so yes, I have to have this with me because once you apply it, you can eat, you can go to the beach, you can whatever. Look, it's just immediately stains and I just love it. What other products do I have? Oh, the Jalaise, Jalaise, Jalaise from Merit. Love this product because it's very lightweight. It lasts very little on the lips, like um, half an hour and it's gone. But I don't have a problem reapplying it because I love uh, how it feels, hydrates the lips really well. Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm, especially this color. I think it's poppy. Yes, it's poppy. <sighs> so good. So good. This is probably the best lip balm. If I have to, out of everything, I don't want to say other brands are not good, but there is just something about this lip balm. There is something about. If you are not sure what color to get, get the clear one. Get the clear one because it's absolutely insane. I love it. Um, but for me, Poppy, it's like this beautiful, let me show you. It's this beautiful, corally, look at this. So good, right? So good. I love it. And it's comfortable on the lips and it has a high shine. I had to take this Dior because this is, it, it has a little something, you know? I, I don't know if you can tell, but this is like, um, has little reflex and in, in direct sunlight, this just has the most special shine. I love this product, so I had to have it. Petal Bouche from Violette is the most fiery pink, if I could <laughs> say so. Uh, let me show you. No, you cannot tell. You can it, it doesn't do it justice. It's very, very, very pretty pink. It's just as intense as a red, but it's not a red. But it has that same impact as a red lipstick and it's liquid and it dries and it stays on. And I, I wanted to have this in my kit. I, I don't know why, but on vacation, I tend to not apply that much red but more like pinks because I wear a lot of white. And I think that when I wear, when I pair pink and white, there's just like, there's just something, you know, there's just something about it or orangey and white, you know, but red, for me, red is like um, more of a city color in terms of lipstick. Like I would apply red with a white crisp shirt, hair up, black sunglasses going for a meeting in Paris. You know, that's how I see it. Of course, I I have a, a red with me because I have to. You know, you never know what I feel like applying, but th that's how that's how I feel about colors in general. 
two lip glosses that you might think they're similar, but they're not, okay? They're not. Recent purchase, I just bought these from Chanel. Lip liner in this. Lip liner in this and you're set. And you are set. I love it. Love these two. You're not gonna see it. You're not gonna see it because it's just, it's very, the color are so subtle. You would have to see them literally on my lips to really make a difference. But yeah. Basically one is a bit more pink and the other one is a bit more peach. If you are a lip product lover, when you see these two, you're gonna be like, these are so different. But if you're not a makeup lover, then you'll be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> these are the exact same. Setting spray. This product is very, very good to set your makeup in place. And I love that they have the small version. And last but not least, okay, here we have a beauty blender, okay? And why is it really good to have a beauty blender with you on vacation? Because it serves you as a brush, as an applicator for foundation, for concealer, for cream bronzer, for a cream blush, for powder. It's fantastic. And on the other side, you see it has a little divider right here. And on the other side, it has the Beauty Blender soap, which is the best. And you know, my, uh, my theory about Beauty Blenders and sponges in general, you apply them, you wash them right before you use them. Make sure you have even the cheapest soap will do the job, but it has to be bar, a bar of soap, not a liquid soap. You wash it right before you use it because you're supposed to use it damp anyway. So make sure that you have a beauty blender in your um, travel makeup kit because it's going to serve you well. Now let's talk about brushes. In my opinion, you don't need a lot of brushes when you travel unless you are the type of person who knows you're going to apply like a you know full eye makeup in my opinion for me this is what i need i need a foundation brush which is this one from bk beauty 106 and then i need a brush for either my you know bronzer cream bronzer or you know my blush this hourglass is just perfection, so I had to keep it in here. I put on a um, concealer brush, a powder brush, because I always use powder in the T-zone. So for me, this is perfect. This brush is from a brand called Misa. It's number one from the Puro collection. And then I, 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 I know, I know myself, I'm not gonna apply too much makeup uh, for my eyes, so I took the classic universal blender brush, which is number one from Refer, and Sculpt, this is a Spectrum Collection number 29. It's a small brush, and I think this was the only one that I had clean. Um, what else do I have right here? Oh yes, I have two other brushes in this little divider. Like I said, I would use one brush for my cream bronzer and one brush for my cream blush. I never like to use the same brush for these two products. So they're similar, but I have to, uh, I have to say, I prefer this brush from Hourglass. I would use the rose ink if I have it, but the Hourglass one is just like 10 steps higher in my opinion. And then this is a brush that I have from Hakuhodo. Um, Refer has something similar this is for bronzer powder or i could apply just loose powder or you know translucent powder powder whatever kind of powder i want with this brush this is really good because it has natural bristles and that's it you guys these are the products that i take with me obviously this is very very personal i love to have a bunch of lip products i love options tell me what is your go-to products the, the the ones that you just cannot 
go on vacation without? What made a big difference for you? What makes a big difference when you're on vacation? All right, thank you so much for watching. As usual, every single product that I have talked about, including this little pouch, you can find in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure that you click on the ring bell button so you'll be notified when I'm posting new videos. It's Sundays at 5 a.m. for me. It's like 11 p.m. for US. Depends on East Coast, West Coast. But yeah, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.